What's up, what's up, Gaming Wars? Chief Rocky here with another episode of Stellaris Galaxy Command, and today we are going to cover weapons. But before I get into that, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell for more excellent content just like this. All right, so let's get in there. I picked the cruiser today because obviously uh, it's badass, <laughs> but it has nothing to do with any of it. It's just a lot more things to look at. Anyhow, we're just going to go over the weapons, okay? So we'll start with kinetic, and before we get into any of that, I want to explain some of this stuff, right? T, S, M, L, and H, right? That's tiny, small, medium, large, heavy, okay? Right here, kind of says it. Now, how do you do that? How do you get these up upgraded, these weapon systems right here? Well, let's go back and I'll show you. Weapons fragments. So I have a few, but I don't have a lot, right? And once I get all of them, I can combine them, um, which again, yeah, done. <laughs> all right, and then you're gonna need engineering research. All right, I'm not sure how to get engineering research yet. I'm going to figure that out, but if you click on it, okay, so engineering research, click this right here, all right? Engineering research points can be combined to create any one fragment. So I don't think I'm actually making any engineering research. I have to look that up and figure that piece out, which I'll probably do in another video because I'm not sure how to get this. It might be an end game thing, which I'm not currently at end game because I don't dump in endless amounts of money or endless amount of time to this game. It's a small hobby for me. So I make videos as I go along. Anyhow, back to the weapon fragment. Okay, so you got tiny, you have small, you have medium, you have large, and you have heavy. And it kind of goes over all this stuff right here. So heavy, or huge, below my last. Large. Medium. Small. And it basically just goes over everything. It cuts it into these squares here right and then damage so we're gonna go ahead and cover the kinetic from this screen here and we're gonna start from tiny and why tiny well because most people watching this video are gonna to want to know starting out so tiny now one thing I need to make clear is there's some things on here that don't change for anything it's just constant for every weapon system and that's build time and usage round even towards the huge it's the same it's always constant for every single one of them okay so let's get into kinetic okay so kinetic it has the lowest of all damage on the basic okay it's shared with beam as well okay so beam will have pretty much the same I think beam gets a little higher as it goes to huge, uh, but right now, like it shares uh, pretty much the lowest out of all of them. Okay. All right. Next will be the accuracy range. Okay. Um, and it also has the lowest. All right. So it's not faring out well right now, but it does increase it. Well, actually, it just stays the same. It's, it, it's pretty much constant. I think all of them actually stay the same as well, but they all have different base stats or basic uh, basic stats. Okay. Um, and then it has the second best attack speed. And why I say the second best is beam and kinetic start out both one, but kinetic actually gets faster as it goes. And I'll show you that um, with the other weapons. So it has the second best attack speed um, it has armor penetration it's not the best um, but it definitely has armor penetration it's the second best it has shield penetration this shield pen penetration is also second best build time usage round we already said that's the same and load or actually it has the second heaviest rather I mean the second heaviest because if you come here to the end it has the second heaviest now what is load that basically puts weight on the ship okay so it's a load on the ship which essentially should, slows it down okay 
Um, now, if we go here to damage and go to the coefficient, it is actually, it this one and rocket are probably the best, which I think kinetic being the best. And why is that? Because it even when it gets to heavier hulls, it still provides a decent amount of damage. Even from weak all the way to heavy, it provides a decent amount of damage all amongst the board. It's, it's pretty much like a constant damage weapon and it will go through shields and it will go through armor pretty regularly. So it's when it, when it comes to kinetic, this is definitely something you guys should maintain in your fleet. It is pretty useful long-term. So kinetic is definitely one of the ones you want to keep. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so on to beam weapons. So overall beam weapons has, I want to say the lowest damage along with kinetic to start with, but it surpasses kinetic uh, hot in the higher ends with when it comes to accuracy rate or range actually it, it has the highest it's shared with missiles by the way so it has the highest attack speed it is actually the slowest when it comes to attack speed uh, it gets better when it goes higher but it um and it does surpass kinetic i believe but it is still the slowest uh when it comes to other weapon systems uh, compared to missiles it's definitely the slowest now this only has armor piercing and that's a that's a downside but its armor piercing is well, actually it has the highest it has the highest armor piercing so um, it gets a win for that the highest armor piercing again these are the same for everything load time it is actually the lowest and it's shared with the drones all the way up to uh, to huge it is shared with drones so it is actually probably the uh, least impacted on ships maneuverability or, or speed all right let's go to coefficients so right off the bat it it hits heavy on weak hulls um, but it starts to really drop to almost useless against heavy hulls okay pretty much useless against standard hulls um, light hulls it will do some damage uh, but um, yeah it's when it comes to end game like it's yeah it's pretty weak <laughs> i mean we could go to high and it's still if we go to coefficient um it gets a little better but if you take that back and go to this coefficient take a look at that okay uh, and that's why i told you kinetic is definitely a keeper right so it gets better but beam is yeah still i wouldn't invest too much in it <laughs> All right, so this is chemical, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, ignore the chemical part. We're actually just looking at the general stats of the rockets, okay? All right, so damage missiles overall, uh, they start equal to drones, uh, but they, they hit the hardest. Uh, the, the rockets really do. Um, compared to mini lasers, uh, they, they, hit, they hit the hardest. Uh, attack speed they have the highest attack speed or uh, <laughs> attack range okay or, or accuracy basically uh, missiles have the best uh, it's shared with beam uh, but it, it definitely is uh, one of the better ones uh, attack speed it starts even with drones uh, but it gets overall it, it's it's faster so uh, definitely when it comes to constant attacking with high power it, rockets are a, a must however rockets only have shield penetration they do not have armor penetration so that, that that's a that's a keep in mind shield penetration power okay keep that in mind uh, same these are always the same now when it comes to rockets when it when it goes to huge it is the heaviest load on your ship okay coefficients starting out with a, a tiny they are probably the second best coefficient. Uh, kinetic is best is, is definitely the best coefficients when it comes to damage across all hulls. Uh, but missiles are 
the second best and I'll show you that with huge yeah so they're they're the second best when it comes to co coefficients uh, again kinetic is still gonna be your constant damage dealer uh, it's 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 yeah it, it's gonna get through everything and it's gonna cause constant damage uh, your missiles are pretty much gonna shred through shields and it's basically just going to keep eating it away at a quicker rate so missiles are definitely a keeper to be honest with you okay and last this would be robotics okay so let's go to tiny all right so drones or robotics right they have the second best damage okay when it comes to damage uh it's, it's definitely the second best compared to uh rockets they have the second best attack range or accuracy. Um, again, uh, missiles and lasers have better and they share the same accuracy or attack range. So definitely, definitely the best. Um, attack speed, they are about the same as uh, kinetic, but they're definitely slower than rockets. Okay, so they have armor piercing and shield uh, penetration but it's on the lower end of both of them. So uh, I I mean, if you're going to use this as, a, as like all around, that'd be great, but you're, you're really missing out with the, the, the punching power of kinetic and missiles. These always stay the same. And again, this has the second lowest, uh, actually the lowest uh, shared with, uh, with uh, lasers when it comes to load on the ship. Damage, uh, they start out pretty decent, but when they get to the end, again, it has a very low coefficient uh, towards end game uh, same with lasers I'll take you to huge and I'll show you that yeah so I mean it gets a little better towards end but again like it's still lower compared to missiles and kinetic okay so overall we just covered all the weapons and personally me I usually use a crap ton of kinetic and rockets all right um with my defensive my defensive designs i put in uh, some robotics and beam um but with when it comes to attack uh, i i move i put one beam in there but i mostly keep it heavy with kinetic and chemical or kinetic and rockets um to me kinetic and rockets or missiles are are your best bets um it's just beam and ro robotics like I don't, I don't know. It, 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 this whole weapon system thing, it, to me, personally, I think they should have had specifics for each one tailored to do certain things. But when it comes down to it and how it's actually implemented into the game, kinetics and rock or missiles, rockets, whatever you want to call them, they're just the best. Okay. Uh, robotics, like, they're there but when it comes to hitting power they're not and same thing with beam towards the end of the game you just kind of fall off and i mean yeah it goes through the hall but when it comes to coefficients on the other the higher tier ships it doesn't really do much so you're better off just keeping kinetic and and, and, and missile they're they're just the best and that's just my opinion on it so you don't have to build based off of my opinion there's definitely plenty of uh, guides I'll take you back here if you come to community there's definitely a lot of guides in here uh, you, you could hit search and type in uh, armor or, or weapons and there's a bunch of guides that people put up there uh, so don't, don't don't just go off of my video uh, because there's definitely other people out there doing the same thing I'm doing they're just typing it up instead of putting it on YouTube so make sure you do your research before you build uh, but I mostly only use kinetic and missiles and I throw a couple in there just to mix it up so anyways i hope you guys liked it make sure to hit that like subscribe and notification bell that's all i got chief rocky out